This is how to make a Newton meter safely at home. The things you will need is a sturdy object, a pen, a paper, unless you are allowed to write on a sturdy object, some blue tack, Newtons, paper clip, a rubber band. Now you need to attach the piece of paper with blue tack. Once you have done that, you want to get your paper clip um, and you want to get the outer part twisted the other way so that you have a little hook to hang your Newtons on. It should look something like this. Now you'll get your elastic band and you put it through this little hoop. So you just place it through and pull it. Should look something like this. Now we're going to place that at the top, the sturdy object. This won't be 100% accurate because of the rubber band will resist gravity and therefore it will be up a bit. So now you will mark with your pen zero newtons. So that is around here. Now you're going to grab your newton. And then you're going to place it on the little hook. Okay, there you go. So now you want to turn it around. As you can see, the back of the hook. You want to measure that because that's what we are measuring before. That will be one Newton around. And then we're going to add two, two Newton at the end. So you can see it's not going to be very accurate because it's yet again resisting. So it'll Two newtons will be around here. Two newtons. I'll be a bit unequal. We're gonna test my keys as an object. So we're gonna be testing my keys, seeing um, how many newtons it weighs. So we're just gonna place it here. And all right. So it's around one Newton, as you can see. Um, we'll, I'll just show you a close up. Okay, so I've got a school Newton meter, just to prove that my keys are around one Newton. So we're just gonna place it on here, little hook. And then if we turn around to the Newton side, yes, it's around one Newton, therefore, this works and hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you.